I have some really fun things in front of me, but before I share those with you, I want to say really briefly that while these are things I have really been enjoying, and they are not necessities, I think often we get so caught up when watching these kind of videos in wanting to try everything shown. I am quite guilty of that. I have made way too many impulse buys after watching these kind of videos just to afterwards go, why did I buy this? And I know money is tight for many of us right now. So maybe think of this video as entertainment. And if there is something you see that you would really like and you think might make a difference, I will link, of course, everything I'm talking about down below in the info box. And if I happen to have a discount code, I will also link that down below. And with that said, in a recent video, I talked about the skincare devices or modalities I personally would rather not be without. One of those modalities being red light therapy. I'm a huge fan of red light therapy for its many benefits and I have quite a few different red light therapy devices, including a full body panel. Many of you know we are currently in transit and are living out of a suitcase. So as much as I would have loved to pack my full body panel, of course, that wasn't possible. So instead, I brought my Omnilux mask. Now, in that video I just mentioned, I did say that I really like this mask, but that there are some things I wish they would improve. Well, my friend Beth Sanderson, who was just recently on my channel, just came out with her brand new LED mask. And she has, as if reading my mind, addressed all the things I thought needed improving on the Omnilux mask and then some. This right here is Bev's new red light therapy mask and I absolutely love it. So first of all, this mask has three different programs. You can use just red, red and near infrared combined or red and blue combined. And that is one of the things I did not like about the Omnilux mask. The Omnilux uses red and infrared combined. You cannot separate the programs. Now, to be honest, 99% of the time, I use red and infrared combined, but I don't have melasma or hyperpigmentation. And I have heard from quite a few of you with melasma or hyperpigmentation that if you use infrared, your melasma or hyperpigmentation gets worse. So that is one thing I did not like about the Omnilux mask, is that you cannot separate the programs. But again, on Bev's mask, you can separate the programs, and it also has a third program that combines red and blue. Now, yesterday morning, I woke up with two pimples on my forehead, and I was really tempted to pick those pimples. But instead, I used my mask on the Magneta program, which is the red and blue combined. And this morning I woke up and those pimples are hardly noticeable. So I'm going to show you really quickly. This is the charger for it. And you actually take this off and then just charge the charger, which I think is quite handy. And I hope I won't blind you, but I want to show you the different programs. So this is red only. This is red and infrared combined. And then this is red and blue combined. And for all of these programs, it uses a post light technology. And in that video I just talked about, Beth talks in detail about why post light. But one of the benefits of post light is better absorption of skincare. But as you can see, while this uses a post light technology, it is not an annoying flashing post light. You cannot even see the pulses. So that is another thing Bev improved on this mask. It does have post light technology. You can also choose your treatment time versus the Omnilux is always a 10 minute treatment. With this mask, you have a choice between one minute, three minutes, six minutes, and nine minutes. So on my breakouts, for example, I just used it for three minutes and it was quite effective. You can also see on the remote how much time is remaining. And I don't know if you can see it, it's quite small, but you can see how much time is remaining, which I really like. 
I can't tell you how many times I have said with my Omnilux mask, thinking this is the longest 10 minutes of my life. And it would have been nice to know how much time is left. And while most masks I have tried have a cutout where our mouth is, which is of course handy if you want to drink something while using your mask or eat something, I think for many of us, the mouth area is a problem area. I know for me definitely it is. I have quite a few smoker lines, even though I have never smoked. So Beth covered the mouth area and there are LEDs all through that area, which I think is a really great idea. This mask is also super comfortable to wear versus this one. And I talked about that in that video as well. While it is comfortable, it always left a dent on the ridge of my nose after wearing it. But with this mask, I don't have any dent or marks or anything after wearing it. Lastly, I love the double strap. And that is something else I said I didn't like about the Omnilux mask. While it does have a double strap, the placement of it makes no sense to me. This bottom strap ends up somewhere around my neck. And then I have to tighten it so much that I basically run out of Velcro. It's not a big deal, but it's not the best fit. Versus Beth's mask with this double strap fits perfectly. It doesn't end up around my neck. I don't run out of Velcro. So this mask, Beth really has thought of everything. Now I have been using this every day or almost every day since I've gotten it. I can tell you that I have seen incredible differences because I have been using red light therapy for quite a while now. However, I did take before pictures and I just started using Bev's Green Rooibos Press Serum with this as well, which I did a while ago, but I ran out of it. And then with the move and everything, I just forgot to reorder. So I am using the serum with the mask. I did take before pictures and just in case, if there is a big improvement, then I will definitely show you, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. But I absolutely love this mask. I have not worn this since I've had this. This is going to a friend of mine who is very new to red light therapy and she's very excited to have this. If you have this mask, it's a great mask. You do not have to throw it out and get this new mask. But again, if you are in the market for an LED mask, I would highly recommend this. We always have a discount code with my Salma for all of Beth's products. I will link that code down below. And then another new product Beth just came out with is her facial oil. This is the Green Rooibos Biofirm Facial Oil. And you can see by how much I have used that I absolutely love it. This oil contains, and I'm going to butcher this, Biofirm Demonoropus Drago Extract, also known as Dragon Blood which is a fermented oil that is very rich in essential fatty acids. It also contains, and again, I'm going to butcher this, Bikwoi seed fruit oil, which is rich in vitamins A and E, grapeseed oil, jojoba seed oil, seed buckthorn oil, baobab seed oil, nigella sativa seed oil, vitamin E, and of course, Beth's signature ingredient, green rooibos. This is a gorgeous face oil. It has a faint smell of tea, which I love. In fact, the first day I applied this, my mother-in-law walked past me and she said, oh my gosh, what is this smell? It smells delicious. So it has a lovely scent. It is quite luxurious. However, it sinks right in. It has this really silky, lovely feel to it. And like I said, it sinks right in and just leaves you with a beautiful glow. Beth designed this to be used with her gua sha tool. But what I have mostly been doing, because it has been so cold here, is to apply a few drops of this as the last step in my morning skincare routine before my SPF, just to soothe and protect my skin from the elements. And then sometimes I also use this at night as my last step to just lock everything in. So I have really been enjoying this. And again, you can see how much of it I have used. I have definitely been enjoying it and I would definitely repurchase it. 
And then next I have a product I have talked about quite a bit in other videos. And it is the Young Goose Hyperbaric Mask. They say on their website that this is a hydrating mask designed to mimic the skin rejuvenating effects of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Now, to be honest, I have never had hyperbaric oxygen therapy, nor do I know what that actually is, but I love this mask. It has some beautiful ingredients. It contains marine algae, which they say specifically addresses skin looseness, tetrapeptide 4, a peptide which is said to help reduce wrinkles and strengthen collagen and elastin, Vitacell LS7979, which they say is a rejuvenating extract derived from yeast. It also contains strawberry seed extract and some other beautiful ingredients. Now, as I mentioned earlier, personally, I have never had hyperbaric oxygen therapy, and that's a mouthful. So I can tell you that this indeed mimics the effects. But what I can tell you is that I love this mask. This is either my third or fourth container, which I have purchased with my own money. And the way I really love to use this is with my Zip Halo. So I will take one max two pumps of this, apply it all over my face, and then use my Zip Halo for a treatment. And if I have the time afterwards, I will leave this on for as long as I can because my skin really loves this. Now, Anastasia and Amitai, the founders of Young Goose, who have been on my channel before, actually say to use this as your last step in your evening skincare routine. So like a sleeping mask. But I did ask if it is a good idea to use this with microcurrent and they said, yes, it is, because you are driving the ingredients a bit deeper into the skin. And quite a few of you have asked me about the Young Goose products, because again, I did make a video with the creators. I have tried quite a few of their products and have enjoyed almost all of them. One of them I always have next to me when I'm filming, and it is the Adaptogenic Lip Gloss. So this is a plumping lip gloss, which uses niacin to plump. So I have enjoyed quite a few of their products. They are unfortunately not cheap. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, money for many of us is tight right now. So since so many of you were curious about the brand, I did reach out to them asking them, hey, could you give us a bit more of a discount? So they actually, I used to just have a 5% discount for the brand. They did give us now a 10% discount, which is great. But for one month, starting today, February 20th through March 20th, they are giving us 15% off. So I know I would definitely stock up on this mask and maybe some of their other products. They did just launch some new products, which I haven't tried, but I will try them and let you know how I feel about them. So if you have been curious about the brand, like I said, for one month, starting today until March 20th, they are giving us 15% off. And my recommendation, if you can afford it, is definitely to get this mask. And if you have a Zipalo, try it with that and let me know how you like it. Talking about Zipalo, they just launched a new lip program, which is pretty cool. So if you do have the Zipalo, make sure to check it out. And then next, I have a couple of hair products. And the company is called Erna Blue. It is a female-owned company. And the owner believes that in order to have healthy hair, we need to have a healthy scalp. They currently have three products. All of them contain a quite high percentage of Moroccan argan oil. And I was really lucky to have been sent all three products to try. My absolute favorite of the three is their treatment oil. This is a gorgeous, incredibly smelling treatment oil. And this is another one of those products. When I first applied it, again, my mother-in-law happened to walk past me and she said, now what are you using? This also smells amazing. I let her try this overnight and the next morning she ordered it because she loved it so much. So this is a treatment oil you apply to your scalp 
and it contains Moroccan argon oil, prickly pear seed oil, as well as Damascus, rose and geranium oil. So on their website, it says to apply this once a week all over your scalp and to either leave it in overnight or just before you wash your hair. Personally, I have been using this. I've had this for about six weeks now. I have been using this at least once a week and I like to use it overnight. So I take one or two of these droppers and again, it smells amazing. And I apply the full dropper all over my scalp. I massage it in. Then I usually take another dropper and put it into the ends of my hair. And then I braid my hair, go to sleep. The next morning I wash it out. I do usually wash my hair twice afterwards, but it does come out really easily. I have a very dry scalp. I've talked about this before. I don't have dandruff or anything, but my scalp always itches and feels dry. And I really feel since using this, it has much improved. And I do feel that my hair looks nice and healthy. So I really love this treatment oil. So does my mother-in-law. And I would definitely repurchase this. And the scent is just a bonus. It smells so good. And then the next product I really like of theirs is their hair serum. This also contains argan oil, but unlike the treatment oil, this has a very different consistency. So what I do with this one, I take a pump of it. And again, the smell is just incredible. It has a very watery consistency. And I will just run this through my ends. And it just makes my hair look nice and healthy and shiny without weighing it down. So this I have been using after I wash my hair. I put a bit of it in my wet hair. And then also during the day, if I feel it needs a bit extra love, a bit extra shine, I will use a bit more of this. The third product I don't have here. It is at my mother-in-law's and it is their scalp cleanser. That one again contains Moroccan argon oil and it also contains pink Himalayan sea salt. They call it a scalp cleanser rather than a shampoo. And you are supposed to use it once a week instead of your regular shampoo. It is nice. It does feel like a shampoo with some added beads for exfoliation. To be honest, I find the beads a bit of a gimmick, especially if you have long and a lot of hair, because I do feel the beads don't even touch my scalp. I just am rubbing them around in my hair. So to me, it's just a shampoo with some added beads that really don't give me any benefits. But as far as the shampoo itself, I do think it's quite nice but it won't replace my Hyel shampoo, which I have been using for many years now. So out of the three products they sent me, well, the scalp cleanser is nice. And I think if you have short hair and not a lot of it, you might enjoy the beads and you might feel like you're actually getting a bit of an exfoliation on your scalp. For me personally, I just, like I said, I felt like I'm just rubbing the beads around on my hair. So out of the three products they sent me, these two I am loving will definitely repurchase the scalp cleanser. I am going to use up, but I won't repurchase. Lastly, so many of you have been asking me if I can recommend a good mineral or physical SPF. So in the last months, I have purchased quite a few mineral SPFs, and I'm sure in about a month or so, I will make another sunscreen video in which I will talk about all the ones I have tried. But I do have a few here that I really like and have been using regularly. The first one is by Naked Sundays. This is a tinted SPF with an SPF of 50 plus and it uses 22.5% myconized non-nano zinc as well as iron oxides. It also contains watermelon extract and vegan collagen. It is quite thick when you first apply it, but it does spread nicely. And you can see it does have a tint. However, it doesn't really provide any coverage. Once it sinks in, it just leaves you with a nice glow, but barely any color and really no coverage. 
So this is a lovely SPF. I have been using this one quite a bit. The only problem I have with this one is it really likes to collect in the hairline and around the eyebrows. When I try new SPFs, I always, when I'm on a walk with my husband, I ask him, what do you think about this one? Because we're out in daylight and he can really see it. And he is quite the critic. So this one, he said, does not look like makeup, which is something I don't like. I like when it looks like my skin and just better. But he did say it did collect quite a bit in my hairline and around the eyebrows. So keep that in mind if you want to try this one. Aside from that, this is a lovely SPF. I do like the high zinc content, 22.5%. Again, it is non-nano zinc, but micronized. And I do like that it is an SPF of 50 plus. I did also try two other SPFs by Naked Sunday. And Naked Sunday, I hadn't heard of them before. I can't remember where I saw them, but they are an Australian company. And I do think in Australia, they know how to make sunscreens. So these two right here, they are the same, just different shades. They are called Cabana Glow Mineral Glow Serum Drops. They have an SPF of 50 and contain 14.9% zinc oxide. 3.3% titanium dioxide, as well as iron oxides. So I purchased both of these because I was pretty sure that neither of them would be the perfect color. So this one right here, it's really hard to read. And this is the lighter one. So if you are really fair, this might be perfect. This is quite runny and it does take a bit longer to rub in than the thicker one but eventually it does rub in nicely it also barely gives any coverage just looks like your own skin with a gorgeous glow so this is the lighter shade and then i also got let me wipe this off i also got the medium shade and they do have a bronze shade which i know would be way too dark for me and the medium currently is definitely a bit dark, maybe in summer. But again, you can see it is quite runny. It takes a bit to rub in, but once rubbed in, gives barely any coverage, but gives you a gorgeous glow. It does have a bit of a shimmer, but again, my husband, who is quite the critic, the sunscreen critic, when I applied these, so I have applied them together, using one finger length each and mixing the shades. I've also applied just the lighter one by itself. I haven't done that with the darker one, but each time I asked him, what do you think? And he said, it looks good. I can't even tell you wearing sunscreen. And I asked him, you don't think it's too shimmery because I do feel it has a bit of a shimmer, definitely a glow, but a bit of a shimmer as well. And he said, not at all. So there you go. And then lastly, I have another mineral SPF, and it is by Kinship. This is the Self-Reflect sunscreen, and it has an SPF of 32. It uses 22.4% non-nano zinc oxide, as well as iron oxides. I have actually talked about this about three years ago when I was still living in Italy. And I went back to my video to see how I felt about it back then. And I said that I really liked it, but that at the time living in Italy, I was a bit too tan and it was too pale for me. So I was curious to see how it would work now. It is a lovely SPF. It has a really nice smell, kind of coconutty. This one, by the way, I can't detect a scent versus these two they do smell like sunscreen. It's not obnoxious, but they do smell like sunscreen. This one again smells a bit like coconut and it is quite hydrating. You can see it has a slight tint, but much like this Naked Sundays, the tint really doesn't give you any coverage or anything. It just helps with the white cast. Once you rub this in, you can't really see a tint. So if you are fair, 
I would say this is a gorgeous SPF. So these are some of the SPFs I purchased this month. I have a few more. My husband thinks I'm crazy, but I do want to find the right one. And I do want to share all these SPFs with you because we are all different. What works for one might not work for another. So like I said, in about a month or so, I make a whole SPF video and share all the fails with you as well. But these four, or really three, since these are the same, which I have shared with you right now, are nice. I'm definitely using them, but I'm still looking for even better ones. If you have any suggestions for mineral SPFs, please leave them down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Also, please let me know some things you have really been enjoying. I always love to hear from you and it's so fun to exchange different product ideas and I get so many ideas from you. So thank you so much for being here. Until next time. Bye.